Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna go over part two of the makeup collection. So today we're gonna include blushes. We're gonna do powder, cream, and liquid blushes. Um, I originally thought I would break this or I would have this to include blushes and bronzers, but um, it, the video ended up being so long. So I ended up only doing blush products. I'll have the rest of my collection posted in various videos added to my makeup collection playlist. So if you wanna check those out, we'll have them posted in the coming weeks. Um, so let's just jump right into it cause it's a long one. Okay, moving on to blushes. So probably the second largest category that I have in my collection is blushes just behind eyeshadows. Um, I've broken this up into like two parts so that I can do one part like the powder um, blushes and then the second part is the cream blushes. So let me take them all out and lay them on the table. So this is about all I can fit in the frame, so we'll go over these ones first. This looks like just a hodgepodge here. Um, so I'll go over these ones. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay um, Cheek Wardrobe. Um, these are the like Blush Authority. They're not all blushes, I don't think. This is Blush Authority. No, they're all Blush Authority. This came in like a Christmas set two years ago. And these were probably the first high-end blushes that I purchased. I don't use them all for blushes. And I've seen like Tarte come out with different versions of these for their holiday collections. Like I think last year they came in a circle, but this was two years ago, maybe even three years ago at this point coming up. Um, at this Christmas, it'll be three years. So I really liked these. I tried their Tarte Amazonian Clay, like the individual blushes, and I know that you know, they were really popular, but unpopular opinion, I, they bored me. Like I couldn't pick up anything. I didn't think they stayed around with the staying power that a lot of people said that they had. And I decluttered it. I, I kept it for so long wanting to love it and then just ended up like giving it to a coworker. So, um, but these ones were different. I really did like these. The reason that I don't use them all as blushes and maybe they're meant to be, I don't know, but this is more of a bronzer shade, blush, and a highlight. So I, I used to take this to travel. This looks super dull, but it's so beautiful on. It really is. Like it doesn't um, look like much in the pan, but it is a pretty fun highlighter. So I just keep it with my blushes. This one is all blushes. And I think these two are mattes and this one's a shimmer. I like these, that's why I hold on to them. They're bulky to keep, but whatever, who cares? And I'll keep these, honestly, until they go bad. And I don't foresee that happening soon. So blush, blush, and honestly, again, this one is so shimmery that maybe it's meant as a blush topper, but I also use it as a highlighter. And it's it's not like too dark for me. Like it comes off so light that it, it works. So I do use it as a highlighter, but I love these. Love them, don't know why, just do. Okay, I have two The Balms. Um, this one is a super bright, uh, super bright pink. I often don't wear these colors, but I like it. It's called the Instain, I guess that's it, just the Instain Blush. It's um, Argyle. Uh, I do like this, but I don't wear this very often, not even for spring. I just don't wear many looks where I like this color pink, but I like to keep it in my collection. It says that it's long lasting and it is because that's what I really look for in a blush. I don't want it just to pop for a few hours. I want it to pop, you know, me putting my hand on my face, like doesn't immediately take it off. And then I got this recently. I picked it out from like a boxy charm sale. <clears throat> I didn't realize how shimmery it was going to be when it came. So both of these I think are shimmery. Yeah, this is almost like a purple blush. So I've only tried this like once and I'll use it in place of like having a highlighter at all, but it's okay, it's all right, it's cute. Okay, this is the new um, Charlotte Tilbury Pull Talk Multi Glow. 
I bought it for a highlighter and I think I bought it in the shade medium if I'm not no dream light um but it came and honestly the only thing that I could use for a highlighter is this one right here and there's just no way that I would spend time like digging a little brush into just that section so honestly I will swirl this whole thing and just wear it over my entire cheek like it does have this shade that I would consider almost a bronzer for me a blush and maybe a highlighter definitely a highlighter for this one so I swirl the whole thing in and just layer on my cheek when I'm trying to move quickly so I, I do like this I think it's good I just don't think it's good as just a highlighter then I have Jaclyn Cosmetics this is I don't know one of the earlier ones this was the love link well luminous rouge blush okay so this came out with the uh, bougie rouge collection and this one was called love language it's a loose powder blush and it's really orange i think i was trying to be like daring when i bought this but i actually do tend to gravitate towards more orangey blushes especially in the summertime so more warmer tone blushes than anything else i just have like really fair skin so i like warmer tone blushes and i think this is really cute it almost like stains my cheeks so i really do like it see how it like it's super pigmented so i like this one it's just sometimes not as fun to pick up a a powdered blush but i do like to have that not a powdered blush a loose blush um but i do like to have it in my collection obviously this packaging <laughs> takes up like half my container but who cares and i just bought this the l'oreal age perfect radiant satin blush i don't think i've even used it yet to be honest i don't think i have but i like a lot of l'oreal products so i'm this is in the shade 410 rosewood right there so I think I'll like it. And then I have two of the L'Oreal Mercier, what are these? The um, blush color infusion. This one's in Cur Royale. I think I got this one first. I'm not sure where I picked it up, but it's purple. But it seems darker in the pan than it like comes off on your face. Like if you just lightly tap this, like it does give this I don't know it's gorgeous because I love these blushes and like who doesn't these are like almost have those well I think they do have the micro glitters in them but like if I go with a really light hand during the fall time this is gorgeous like it really does like give a good flush so I held on to this even though this was probably not made for my skin tone I don't care I keep it and then I recently within the last six months picked this up this is in chai I'm not sure who recommended it. It might have been um, Michelle Wang that had mentioned that this was one of her favorite blushes. So I got this one and I really do like this as well as a neutral blush. Um, I recently got, it's funny because I just recently watched Michelle Wang say something about her blushes that she wasn't a fan of the Clinique Cheek Pops um, when she was doing her blush video, but really liked her Laura Mercier. So I bought this. It is, I think, a baked formula. She, you know, I don't know. I, I haven't really tried it yet, but I do like this color for like a neutral, um, for a more neutral blush. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. Um, like, I get, like I said before in my foundation video, there are a lot of Clinique products that I do end up liking. So we'll see how I like this. All right. So from House Labs, I bought the, what is this? 2D gel powder and this was in the shade Rossini so this is a baked blush this was before she reformulated and then moved into Sephora so this was still I think this was still like an Amazon purchase if I recall correctly and this was about six months ago and so it definitely still is um, available very heavily discounted I think on Amazon right now um, but I, I like this this is this comes off super pink for me I'm putting this in the crease but um, so it's not a shade that I gravitate towards, but it's honestly like such a nice formula. It, I just love the bake formula. It's long wearing. I really like this one. So if you still can like get your hands on it on Amazon at a heavily discounted price, I would get it. I mean, it's, it's honestly one of those products where I thought it was really good and that, you know, even if she rebranded, this was something that I would keep in the collection. All right. Two Milani blushes. I had this one back before I even started purchasing. This is an OG for me. So before I started purchasing um, makeup, like two and a half, well, it's almost three years ago now. Um, and I would wear this one every single day. This is the only blush that I wore. So obviously the Milani is rubbed off on it. And this is in the shade um, Luminoso. 
uh, you, I, I mean, it has a dip, right? But how long is it gonna take me to get through this? I love an orangey blush. I love this. It lasts forever. It's radiant. It's gorgeous. What could go wrong? So because I liked that so much, I wanted to try a different one in. So I got Dolce Pink. I have not even used this one that much because of the shade, but it is nice. It's just, gosh, it's just so luminous. Like you can't go wrong with these. If you don't have these, you should have 12 shades in your collection. Um, and the next I bought Essence. This is a blush lighter. I really wanted to try it just to swirl them together and see like, hmm, is this worth getting if I can replace putting a highlighter and a blush on? And honestly, I do. Um, it's not picking up super great, but it, it does. It really is a shimmery blush. I like it. I think it was like $3 at CVS. Not, not bad. Not my favorite, but not bad. Okay, next we have the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow in, what is this one, 001 Pink. I bought this because everyone raved about it and it was completely out of stock multiple times. So when it came back in, I totally put, got my hands on it. It's so light. <laughs> it doesn't always show up the greatest on my face and it almost casts a little bit too white because I'm so pale. I'm even tanner on my hands than I am my face. So... You know, I, I try to center this towards like the apples of my cheeks if I'm gonna wear something like this because it's almost that like purplish kind of undertone. I'll just kind of like pop it on the, the apples of my cheeks. It's cute. It's not my favorite. Like for the hype, this is not one I would grab over even say Milani. All right, next Elf. So this is one of their primer infused blushes. I bought it again because of the hype just to try it out. This is a shade that I would really like. So I wanted to get something that I would wear every day. I think it's super smooth, super soft. I've only worn it a couple of times, so I don't recall the staying power on this, but I think for the price, like you have to try it. Okay, next I have two, um, the Buxom. These are the primer infused blushes. Uh, oh my God, these these have great staying power. That's why I was saying the e.l.f. I'm not sure how it's gonna like stack up against this because I still had it in my vanity to test it out. I really haven't worn it that many times to like remember how the staying power is. But these ones, so good. So good, in fact, you know, I went on and, and bought like another one. This was in Dolly and this was in Seychelles. Um, so I think these are super popular for like, rightfully so but I don't regret it. These are honestly two of my favorite formulas. Well, one of my two favorite formulas in terms of the um, um, powder blushes. If I were to travel, I th honestly, like one of these is what I would grab gravitate towards. They're just, they're just small. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. I love these. Honestly, one of my favorites. Okay. So this is all, this is a physician's formula. So when I started to branch out after, you know, using the Milani um, Luminoso for so long, I went to the drugstore and got myself a physician's formula. I'm pretty sure I've rubbed off all the lettering on this. And it's the only physician's formula like blush that I, I have in my collection. And I'm pretty sure that they don't sell anything that looks like this packaging anymore. So this is the Mineral Glow Play Blush in the shade, I guess it's Natural Pearl. Um, I also really like this one. Like, you can't go wrong. It's an inexpensive option. It's that kind of orangey with pink pearls in it. So it's it's just this really cool color. It's almost like it comes out the combination of these two shades and really good staying power. So I don't know if they make this anymore, but I really enjoyed this. Still do. All right, Pat McGrath. So um, I purchased this when it came out. I didn't go crazy and buy a ton of shades. I just got one. I have seen people put on other shades that I would prefer probably more than this one, but I got this one in the sh shade Divine Rose. The packaging, like I don't get this. Like how can you make something that's that difficult to open? Maybe it's just me. Hello, Jesus. I don't find that like appealing or good quality. I find that super annoying for the price. Um, so this particular color is not one that I would gravitate towards on an everyday basis. I like it because it's a little bit more mauve. It's obviously not this pink. Um, people love this blush. I, I don't know. I'm like, it's okay. It's not my favorite, honestly. And I know that's probably super unpopular opinion. I really don't care. Like for the price, 
And I would purchase Pat McGrath if it appealed to me in, in a second. Like there's nothing that says don't get this just because it's expensive. My brain doesn't work that way. I'll do it anyway. And I do like the shade. Um, but I, I, I just don't love this over other blushes. I really don't. Okay, lastly in this stack, I have the Kaja. This is the Play Bento um, Blush and Bronzer Trio in the shade 01 Buttercup. So I have um, kept this in my blush collection because, well, I think it's still sitting on my vanity, so I just shoved it in here just because. Um, and it has the powder blush, the, the powder, the powder highlight, and the cream bronzer. And Samantha March had recommended these, and then I've heard other people say, oh, because Samantha March recommended it, I bought it. And she's not wrong. This is like so good. You can travel with this so easily, and it's worth it. It's not like you bring this, and you like one of them, and you're just disappointed. Like, let's say you brought this for the, the blush and the highlighter, and then you're like, mm, I don't like the bronzer. No, they're literally all good. So long as these shades are something that you like, like, let's say that you like that kind of pearlescent, more um, champagne-y highlighter and this blush. Perfect. This is perfect. Like, they really did a good job. The quality is really great. All right, so I'm going to grab the other set and we'll move on to the next set of blushes. I put in some like mixed palettes in here because I use them mostly for blushes. So we'll just go through them first. So this is Becca's Chloe and Malika. It's so reflective. I'd hate for you to see what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> um, they did a collab with Becca and I, it was again, Mel Thompson that said, um, you know, I think some of her top products from Becca to grab before they go out of business. So I picked this up. Um, this is a bronzer, two blush shades, and a highlighter. They're so luminescent, these blushes, that you could go without wearing a highlighter. But I think I still do with these. But I like this. I think this is good quality. These are all a baked formula. I'm surprised this probably wasn't more popular than, than it appeared to be before Becca went out of business. So I really do like this palette. Next is Hourglass. This... This is the ambient um, lighting edit in universe when did i get this it probably i don't know if this was a holiday collection or not but i think it was like almost two years ago is when i got this so this is um you know two blushes a bronzer a highlight and a face powder i like this i love i just like baked formulas but i like hourglasses powders i don't know who doesn't i don't have many things from hourglass i think this is probably three things, four things in total that I have from them, but I like all their stuff. Okay, so this was definitely a Christmas release. No, yes, Christmas release, limited edition, Laura Mercier's um, first ball cheek palette. I don't know why I bought this. It's so terrible. These three shades are, they're so small. Like even look at how fat my fingers are. Like I have big hands. <laughs> So like getting a tiny little brush into these little cheek pans, blush pans is super ridiculous. Like I can't do that. So I would just, you know, brush my, run my brush in all three shades and it's pretty nice, but I really only like this highlighter and it's again, very small panned that, which is okay for the highlighter, but why is the highlighter bigger than the blush pans? I don't know. Um, but it's nothing to write home about. And I'm pretty sure this was like 70 bucks, 69 bucks. I would not, I would not purchase this again. I thought it would be more like her you know, the color infused blushes and they're not. They're, I don't know, the quality is not the same on these. So what, what is the shade in this one? I'm not even sure. I guess this is just a light version. Or maybe it was literally all the same in this holiday release. So I didn't like it. So I, I, I've held on to it, but I would not purchase another holiday release if it was like that again. Okay, so this is an Amazon exclusive brand, I think, right now. I think you can get it from their website, but it's definitely sold on Amazon. So this is Catkin because um, I wanted to try Catkin. And, you know, if I can pick anything from trying a brand, it's probably going to be a blush just because I love blushes. Um, 
if I were to leave the house, the two things that I would wear are blush and mascara. For me, that just does it. Like that's that's what I love. I would ditch the concealer. I would ditch I would ditch pretty much everything else and just put on blush and mascara. So if it's, you know, something from a brand, the first thing I'm probably going to try is their blush and that's going to determine whether or not I purchase anything else. So that's just how I am. So the Catkin, this is the blush in uh, C05. You obviously can't read anything else and it's the rest of it's in Chinese or potentially Korean. No, this is Chinese. Um, I love this. I love this. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Like it's such a good like luminous orangey blush for me and my super like light skin. Oh, I just love this. And the staying power on this is literally all day. I have a tendency to rest my hand on my face constantly. So if the blush cannot withstand that and some you know do a really good job at staining your cheeks but if they can't like it's just not my favorite blush i won't gravitate towards it but this really does i love it and i can't remember how much this was but if you had the chance to go on amazon and purchase purchase this like i do it i would do it okay this is a bougie one that i bought at nordstrom this is the Guerlain uh, Terracotta in the shade Light. I don't know if I would call this a, a blush or a bronzer, but I keep it with my blushes. Um, it, it has like two bronzing shades, one matte, one kind of luminous, and then this blush. And I wasn't sure what I was gonna use it for. I don't know how they sold me for this like $105 um, powder, because that's essentially what it is. It doesn't, oh yeah, natural rose, 02 natural rose, but in the light version, I think, the terracotta light. Um, I don't know how they market this, whether they market this as a bronzer or a blush, I'm not really sure, but I wanted something bougie because I was out shopping with my friend, so I wanted to try Girl On, so I did. Um, this comes out very pink, like when I swirl my brush, and so I thought, oh, well, then it's gonna stay a blush, just kind of a neutrally, like light, beigey, fair, pink blush so it stays there um it's okay but it is super light and I really do like to pack a punch with my blushes so I'm glad that I tried it but I wouldn't repurchase this okay next from flower beauty this is one that was like the essence blush lighter it's super super luminous it's just got like I don't know if you call them glitters in there but whoa whoa swatchy you suck Carrie Oh yeah, it's just super luminous. I really I really don't know how I feel about this. I have not used it that much. What is this in Flower Pots Powder Blush in the shade Warm Hibiscus? Okay, it's okay. Um, again, like if I'm moving fast and I'm, I'm not going for like highlighter and a blush, I will pop this on if the shade suits me for the eye look. Okay, I have one tiny one from Bare Minerals in Gen Nude. Uh, the Gen Nude blushes, and this one's in Call My Blush. I love this. This is just a mini that I probably got at Sephora at one of those like, hey, um, it's your birthday. Pick pick out a free thing. I love this. Like, I really love this. I don't know if they sell this particular blush like this anymore. I've, I, I don't look at Bare Minerals products that often, but I love this blush. I love the way the shade looks on me. I love the staying power on this. It's It's really good blush. Another one from Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals is their um, bronzer. So this is in the shade Kiss of Copper. Um, I love this. This is totally my shade. Oh my god, it's so creamy. Like so much comes off. It's just worth it to, to get this. Look at that. Ooh, that is that is so my shade for the summer. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is super creamy, super pigmented. A lot comes off. This is the old packaging. If I ever ran out of this, dropped it, broke it, I would buy it in the new packaging. I don't know why they felt they needed old packaging and new packaging. Packaging. It's literally, instead of just silver, it's black. But whatever, Fair Minerals, you do you. Um, but this is awesome. This honestly, again, if I were to have to grab like five blushes that I got to keep forever, and like this, this would be in one of those five. Okay, next I have one NARS blush. That's it, just one. Um, this is in... Orgasm X. This is another one that Sephora was like, hey, grab a free set or, you know, came in like 
I don't know, it had this, a lip balm, maybe if that was it, I can't remember. I haven't purchased anything else. I wanted to try the Orgasm, but this is the more shimmery version. I think a more orangey version of Orgasm and shimmery. Um, but I like it. It's super pigmented and it stays a long time. It's honestly, I, I forget about it because it's so small, but it is a good blush. Okay, so M Cosmetics. This was the first thing that I purchased from M Cosmetics. It intrigued me. Like, honestly, their products really intrigue me. I want to purchase more from them. I haven't yet, but I, I'm sure that I will. So right now I only have, I think, three things. And what I really want to try from them is their eyeshadows. But when I said earlier that when I like a brand, I want to try it for the first time, the first thing I'll go for is their blush. Like, if you do a good job with blush, you've basically sold me on the rest of your line. It's just the way I am. So I got this in Venetian Rose. This is the Heaven's Glow Blush. Oh, my God. This is another one that is one of my five favorite blushes. So, um, yeah, I think we're nearly at the end in the five favorite blushes category. Maybe it's 10. I don't know. I love blush, so it's hard. But the staying power on this is great. The luminosity on this is super fun. I love this. I love this blush. I think she does powder products fantastically. I love her highlighter from this collection. Oh, just love it. Okay, one size. Sorry, I moved this stuff more into frame, like after I almost dropped the camera. Um, I bought this, again, one size when... This is the Cheek Clapper, the 3D Blush Trio. This, is, this one is in Very That. Um, I saw his promo video to this, and I thought it was hilarious. Like, he was just having so much fun with it, that I was like, all right, you know, it's a cheap product. It's coming home with me. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Cream blush in here. Fantastic. Glad that I got the orange because honestly, if you get a shade that you don't care for, that's going to like make or break your experience with the blush. And that being the first product that I got, I'm so glad that I got this, this color. This blush lasts forever. Love it. Um, this is the matte and luminous. Honestly, he did a really good job. You think when it comes that it's, you know, that it's large, but he got the pan sizes right. They're not too small that they are terrible in actually like daily applying and grabbing a brush and just hitting one of the pans. The staying power on this is great. The color is awesome. And I honestly have always, like before this came out, I was like, dude, they should really do a trio where you get the option of, well, I was thinking duo, but like matte and luminous. And that should be like in every blush. Um, okay, not every blush, but that that would be fun. This, this is so good. I love this. Okay, here is another one that I purchased on Amazon, and this one is from, is this ZC, the Palace Identity Peony Blush? I think this might be ZC. Um, I love this. When you swirl your brush around, it's such a pretty color, and the staying power on this is really good. This, I'm glad that I got this. It's, it's so cute. It comes in this little pouchy pouch. It's not even that expensive, but it really is like super good quality. All right, Hourglass. This is one of their ambient blushes in Mood Exposure. This is an older one, probably one of the first high-end blushes that I got. Um, I'm not sure I would repurchase this exact shade, but this is super long wearing. I don't think anybody complains about um, Hourglass's powder products, so I like this. Okay, this and the Hourglass. This is Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Chic to Chic, Ch Cheek to Chic. Um, blush in the shade Pillow Talk. I really like this. I honestly, okay, honestly, um, these are super similar, but I would prefer the Hourglass over this one. In terms of staying power, I think Hourglass lasts longer than this, but this and the Hourglass one were one that I purchased around the same time when I wanted to, like, try, um, like, luxury blush products. I really do like this. It pops so much. It's such a vibrant color on me. Um, maybe I didn't do a great job swatching. No, I sure didn't. It's such a vibrant color on me and I like that they, she mutes it with these, you know, kind of highlight shades in the middle. So I really do like this. All right. And finally is this one from Beauty Bakery. It's such a wrong shade for me or anyone. The Snackaroonie. Yeah. Blush in freshly baked. It's so pigmented that, oh my gosh, like hello orange. Like, look at that. It's such a wrong shade, but it's so fun. Like I have to be careful, but then I'll never use the whole darn thing because if I just tap my brush in there once, it's the whole cheek. I just have to blend it out. 
but it's, I don't know, it's fun. Like, I like having all different shades. And I think Beauty Bakery stuff is just so cute. It's so cute. So I think I got this at Target and just grabbed it right before we were, like, walking out. Okay, so lastly, I have three blush palettes, exclusively blush palettes. So I got this one, Lunar Beauties, from the Nude Prism blush. I never tried any of the other blushes. Um, but I thought this color story was more suiting than I think his other one. Mm, I cannot remember what his other cheek palette was, but I thought this color story minus this shade was more fitting for like what I wear on an everyday basis. So I picked this up along with the palette. He does a really good job in his in his powders. Like I, I really do like this. It's not that often that I gravitate towards a blush palette. I forget that I, I have them, but this is, this is good. Like if you wanted to try Lunar Beauty, I would say pick up one of his cheek palettes for sure. Okay, this is the Jaclyn uh, Cosmetics Rouge Romance. I think this is from the Bougie Rouge Collection in Rouge Affair, if I'm correct. Yeah. Um, these shades, one, two, three, three, I like. The other ones are too dark for me. I still wanted to try it. Half the palette is better than none when it came out in the collection. So I thought I would try it because I thought that the formula would be something that I would really like. And I do, honestly. It's it's a nice formula. Look, it is very smooth. Dang. So I like this. I don't know if you can get this anymore because it's not part of her, you know, permanent line. But it, it was cool. Like this. If that suited somebody and they really liked these colors, this one, super unique. Like I don't own a lot of things that are like that. Like even this one is deeper orange than that. That's like a fun shade. If I really were into that, I would gravitate towards that shade. I would say that this palette is unique because of that shade. All right, so finally, this is um, one that I got from BoxyCharm. This is Charm Your Cheeks. This might be a BoxyCharm like exclusive palette that they made for them. They call it like the mini palette or something. I'm not sure it has a name, like a uh, color rather. I like these a lot. Like there's nothing wrong with this. This is a lot of the tones, like even this one, that I would wear on a normal basis because they're, they lean more orangey, brown. Um, I love this. I think this stays super long, super pigmented, and that shade is super fun. I don't know if you can purchase this on its own because it's that boxy charm exclusive. It looks like Charm Your Cheeks is almost like a play on why they would name it this for boxy charm. All right, we're gonna move on to the liquid and cream blushes. Okay, so here are all my liquid and cream blushes. I'm gonna do the same thing and just take them all out and lay them out. I probably won't get them all in one frame, so I'll just fill it up and then we'll switch. Okay, we'll do this group first. So we'll grab this one. This is my Westman Atelier. Um, I wanted to try a product from them. I don't have anything else from them. They are a luxury brand, so they are more expensive. Um, so I, I've only, like I said, if I'm gonna try a brand, it's gonna be with the blush first. And if I like that, then you've pretty much sold me. So this is in the shade Petal. I really like this. I've only used it like three times. I love it. I love the color. I love this. This is really good. Okay, so next, and I'm just grabbing randomly. This is a Ritual Defee. Um, this is a color that looks super intimidating in the pan, Desire, but then when I put it on my cheeks, it's honestly like you can sheer it out to look pretty nude. I love it. Like that's awesome. Like that's a muted pinky purpley and it's not as like purple as it looks in the pan. And for cream blushes, I, I really do like this. I saw, I brought this on Credo Beauty along with the Westman Atelier blush stick and then I noticed that it went on sale at I think... Was it Ulta that this went on like half off like the very next week? So I was pissed because this is again a brand that I wanted to try. So I got a blush first and I do like this. So I would purchase more from them. So I just recently got this. This is the Glow Play. I think it's called the Glow Play, right? Yeah, Glow Play Blush and Cheer Up. I obviously picked a orangey because I've said like five times I love orangey blushes. Just five. Just five. Um... I know I'm probably late to the, the game on this, but I love this. This is so cool. This formula is awesome. Like it's fun and it is long wearing and the color on this is amazing. So I really do like these. I am not sure I own more than two products from MAC and I must have purchased them both within the last two months. 
And I know that MAC is like an OG brand, but they don't, they don't have a lot of things that they come out with now that, you know, intrigue me whatsoever. But then someone I worked with mentioned this, so I bought it and I'm glad that I did. I really like this blush, really like it. Okay, so Honest Beauty, I have or had, and I decluttered it because it was a shade that wasn't good for me, but I had their original packing, their cream blushes, and then I, I just purchased this one in a better color for me in their new packaging. So this just came to me. I probably placed the order in the last three weeks. This is the um, cream cheek and lip color in rose pink. I will not use this on my lips, but I love this. I think this is really good. I liked it to begin with. I don't think it's the longest wearing. I have some cream blushes that are longer wearing, but I like the pigment. I like the color. I like that it's not super sticky when you put it on, so I like this one. Okay, Rare Beauty. So I think a lot of people kind of gravitate towards the her other liquid blushes that come in the... I'm trying to grab grab it. These like liquid brushes and her cream one, her her cream version isn't as popular, but I liked both. This is this was in nearly berry, so it's not a really good tone for me, like at all. I don't know why I purchased this. I think there was a point where I was buying berry colored blushes because it must have been the fall, and so well, the fall is over, and so I can't really wear this in the summertime, but I'm gonna try again in the fall. I do like the formula. If it lasts that long, um, I don't think it's, no, it's not right out. Oh, no, it's not, sir. Um, if I sheer this out, it does work, but I like it as more of a fall shade because it is berry toned. Okay, Tower 28. <sighs> Tower 28, My, the, the blush and bronzer, that they have the, the liquid, or not liquid, but cream, blush, and bronzer, I am not the biggest fan of. I know a lot of people like it, but it's sticky. To me, like, it never dries down, like a lot of other cream blushes that I have do. And I know this is a clean, more affordable option. This one is in the shade Magic Hour. I don't like how sticky it is. I love the color. I really do. I really, really do. And I love the blush way more than I love the bronzer, because the bronzer... Uh, it's it has like glitters in it and I just don't like to I don't like to shine when I'm wearing my bronzer I mean not really not the way that this bronzer tends to be super sticky so I like this it's not my favorite at all okay this is the Milani cheek kiss cream blush in nude kiss I like it I like the color um, I like the feel I like that it dries down Jesus, I'm trying to swatch through the monitor. I like the color. I just like this. Drugstore. Milani does such, such a good job on their blushes. You you can't go wrong. So I love that one. All right, moved them back into frame here. All right, so Stila. Stila is another brand that seemed more popular before I really started to get into makeup. And a while back, I had their like liquid, um, like glitter shadows. I forgot what they're called but then I got rid of them because they do dry out pretty quickly and I didn't wear them that often. So I wanted to try more stuff from Stila. And so I went and placed an order on, on Nordstrom and got this and a highlighter. And then right after I did that, I noticed they went on Ulta and they were literally half off. But this, I love it. Like it's so, Stila seems like it's dying down like tart and that people used to love it. Maybe some people really still do. Maybe it's just like the content creators in the beauty space that I watch on YouTube that don't seem to gravitate towards these products very often anymore. Um, but maybe it's just that their releases, you know, they're, they're just not as kind of intriguing and innovative as some of the other brands are doing. But I liked this. I, again, it's the shade that does it too. You know, you have to get a good shade when you're trying something out, but I really liked this. I thought this was a really good product. So I would say if it's still like half off in Ulta and you wanted to try something from Stila, I would say, you know, it's a good one. This one is Ali, Ali Oop. So I just got this. This is their Stack the Odds in Sassy Pants. I just got this from BoxyCharm. I get a lot of stuff from BoxyCharm. But it is not just blush. It's a bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And they're all cream products. And, I, and I've dipped my finger in it, but I haven't tried it yet. So I don't really know how I feel. But I love the shades. This more like rose, champagne. This, this color almost looks orangey. So I think I would like it. And I, that bronzer for me is, is a pretty good tone for the summertime. A little orangey, but... Um, I think I'm going to like this. I don't know for sure. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, so M Cosmetics, the serum blushes. 
Um, I've wanted to try this for like ever. This is in Sunset Sky. These serum like drop blushes. I have, I've liked the packaging and have had my eye on these forever. And I didn't purchase this. When it came to purchasing something for the first time from M Cosmetics, I went for the powder blush because that's a safer bet than this. And I loved this. Then I went for the powder highlighter. And then I saw that they were selling like, um, I don't know, it was like a trio. I guess it was with this cream products at BoxyCharm at like 70% off. And I was like, oh, well then I'm getting it because here's my excuse to try this. But I haven't tried it yet. So I am excited that I have my hands on this because I've wanted it for like a year and a half. Uh, but I don't know how I feel about it yet. It's cute though. It's cute. It's so cute. All right, here's one. This is a cushioned one from, it's the Trish Cheek uh, from the Creme Shop. I guess this is in, um, I mean, I, it's really just in coral. But I recently, this is so funny, I purchased this a long time ago. I purchased this two years ago at CVS, walking through. I was going through the aisles and, you know, scoping out the... Um, the blush products and I picked this up and I had no idea. I had never heard of the cream shop or the creme shop I'd never tried anything and it was cushioned and I thought oh that color's not gonna work and it looks super intimidating But it's a very It's a very beautiful blush. Am I even gonna get? Yeah, I will It's a very beautiful like luminous blush. This is such a good color. I saw Johnny Ross and I don't know if this is recent, but I think it's pretty recent where he's like, oh, I picked this up from CVS and you know, you're sleeping on it and it looks intimidating. This is super long lasting, so long lasting. This dries down, it's so gorgeous. The finish is so gorgeous. I love this, I love this, I love this. This is one of the top five for me. I've told you three, right, so far, but this is, this is number four. This, I love this. Okay, so from Fenty Beauty, this is one of her cream blushes. This is a cool berry. This is around the same time that I got the Rare Beauty because I was all on a, you know, berry kick. But again, I don't touch it because, like very often, because it is that berry shade. Now, this is more cool toned berry than um, than the other one. It's, it's, it has more of a purpley undertone, which so I can get away with sometimes just kind of on the balls in my cheeks, balls, the apples in my cheeks. And, um... It, it does like have kind of a, a luminosity to it that I don't think the Rear Beauty one has. I don't love this. this, is not one of my favorite, but that's why I did purchase the mini. I would say it's nice though. Okay, so this is one of the new e.l.f. luminous blushes that literally just came out, I don't know, two months ago. This was in the shade Maui. I like this, it really is like, I didn't try any of their putty blushes in the matte, well, the more matte finish version, but I love that I, this luminous version. I'm glad that I got this and I think this is a really good shade for me. I don't remember how much this was. I don't know, five dollars. It's totally worth it. You're not going to go through this product very quickly. You just won't. And if you want a, you know, a drugstore, like, you know, alternative to some of these other ones that are like pretty long lasting and luminous, this is a good option. I really do like these. I have one ColourPop um, Super Shock Chi Cheek in No Way. I like these. I find that they're kind of hard to pick up for me because I don't want to stick my finger in it. I don't know why. I don't I don't like to apply this with my finger. I would prefer to do this with like a dense, flatter, like kabuki brush, but I have a hard time picking it up that way. I just don't love this shade. So honestly, I tried it, I'm glad I tried it. I'm not a huge fan of the Super Shock Cheeks in blushes. I love them for the highlighters. Okay, here's another one from Kaja. This is one that is their bouncy blendable blush in atmosphere. I think this is so cute. It has this dome. It's so easy to pick up with like a dense kabuki brush and just place on your cheeks. I really like this color. I think this is so great. I don't know if they make these anymore. I'm pretty sure they do, but I really like this. The staying power on this is, is really good. One that the staying power is terrible. This is one that I got in BoxyCharm. And as you can see, I still have it in the box because it will not be staying in my collection. Um, this is the Ciate London Dewy Blush. Oh, it's dewy. It's dewy. It's so dewy, it's like sticky. And I don't, 
I'm not down with sticky. Like you can be sticky, but you better dry down like at least a little bit. This is so sticky and it blends away to almost nothing. So even though I think I would like the shade, it's so hard to tell because it shears out to, you know, goodbye <laughs> to not on your face anymore that it's leaving. Okay, here is one. Goodness, who recommended this? The Holica Holica brand. I know who recommended this. This is with Jen Phelps had recommended this. And I purchased this from Amazon. And I don't know that she recommended this one. Maybe she did. But she definitely recommended the um, the Pret Balm. The Pet Balm. Um, and who is this by? But she recommended this one. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, she recommended this one. And maybe she recommended this one. I cannot remember. But when I went on there and I was searching Holica Holica and or maybe I was searching this and Holica Holica came up because they're also a K-Beauty brand. Um, I purchased this as well. Uh, super nice color for me. It's, you know, it comes with this thing and I, I have used it a couple of times. Oh no, look, I never use it. I just put a dense kabuki brush in there and I really like this. Like, I love it. It's so good. It's so good. All right, lastly in this frame here is the Laura Mercier. This is one of their cream blushes in the shade Praline. I obviously am easily influenced by a lot of other YouTube beauty creators because um, I purchased this because Mel Thompson, again, before she passed, had, had recommended that um, this particular shade from the, um, the cream blush line from Laura Mercier was the one to get. She wasn't wrong. Like, it's so beautiful. It's so natural. It's, it stays a long time. It's just a really good blush. I know that I have a lot of them, but you know, it's hard to come up with like adjectives or descriptions that say how you feel about a particular blush, but you just know when some perform better than others. And this is one that really does. And it's light. It's just a sophisticated blush. That's what I would call it. It's definitely sophisticated. So I really like this. I, I, I really liked this blush. Okay, so these are the last of the cream and liquid blushes. So we'll go to, through them hopefully pretty quickly. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury. I've had this a long time actually. This one is the um, Pink Gasm. So this is the Her Beauty Light Wand. I really like this. I think the one one of the first times I wore this at work, someone said, "Did you get some sun?" And I was like, uh, "No, it's just Charlotte." <laughs> so we know that Charlotte can be very glowy. So I really like this. Um, okay, this is, I think this is the, oh, this is the Jacqueline. Um, I, I don't remember what collection this came from. This was probably Bougie Rouge again. Yeah, this is Empress, the cream to powder blush stick. Um, I really liked this. Uh, this color is a little bit pinkier than I normally would gravitate towards, so I, I don't use it very often, but I, I do like it. I really just kind of like apply it to my cheeks and then blend it out. Okay, this one is from Victoria Beckham. And this is in the shade Knickers. This is her um, cheeky posh stick. Uh, I wanted to try something from Victoria Beckham Beauty. So I got an orangey shade blush. What a shocker. Uh, I do really like this. I, on, I don't find it super long wearing, but I, I find the finish is nice. I find the color is nice. I like more longer wearing blushes than this. I wouldn't say that I would purchase this again, but I would try other products of hers because I do think this is like, you know, a really like luxurious weighted package. I think most of her stuff that I hear about is really good quality. So I'd be interested in trying more. I just probably wouldn't purchase this to have on hand at all times because of the price point and because it's not as long wearing as I like. Again, I put my hands on my face so often that I needed to withstand that. And this, this doesn't last as long as some of my other ones. This is the ABH um, stick blush in Latte. I think everyone has the Latte shade. I really do like this. This is a good neutral shade. I can't really say much more about it, but if you like those neutrally shades, this one kills it, kills it, kills it. Does such a good job with the undertone for like paler skin, um, kills the shade. I don't really have anything else that is maybe, maybe the um, Laura Mercier Praline blush that comes similar. The undertones are different. This was more pinky and that one is more like orangey toned, but I think for that just neutrally kind of flush look, ABH did a really good job with the shade. 
this rare beauty one i had decluttered it and i had put it in a pile to like give to my sister and then i pulled it back in because it's called the color me cream blush in doll face because honestly i want to really love it i don't i love the shade i really do and it's a dollar i got it at the dollar general it's the yeah believe beauty i don't know if i said that but it's the believe beauty brand um it doesn't last that long so I love it. I love the application. I love the way the finish looks. It's just that I want something that's a little bit more long wearing. So if I don't really care, I don't have that many hours left in the day, I will put this on, but it's not one that I absolutely gravitate towards. But if you're on a budget, yeah. Okay. This one is from Winky Lux. This is Tea Time. This is their Cheeky Rose Blush. I love this. I was shopping in Target one day and I like the Winky Lux because I think their products are really cute. So for that reason, I really gravitate towards them. Um, and, and I wanted to try this. This is the first thing that I bought from Winky Lux. And then I bought a lipstick. And then I bought like a, a cream highlighter. But this is my favorite. I take a dense kabuki brush and I put this on my face. And at first I thought, oh, it's cute. It's gimmicky. No, mm -mm, no. This lasts a really long time. It's a super nice color. The rose is still keeping its shape. Because it's flat and you, if you take a kabuki brush to apply it or even like a damp sponge or a dry sponge even, because it's that flat like top, it applies really nicely and it doesn't mess with the integrity of the shape of the rose. It's so cute. The packaging is super bulky, I don't care. I would get that again, I totally would. Okay, we talked about this one. This is the I'm Meme. If you wanna talk about super long wearing, these two right here, Danessa Myricks and the I'm Meme Prep Balm. These two are super pigmented, super long wearing. This one was from Amazon, it's K-Beauty. It's so pigmented, I have to really be careful. It is kind of a, like a burnt orange shade. So it's a little too pigmented for me, but I, I really do like this. If for a super long wearing blush, this is a good option over this, even though they have somewhat like similar finishes the texture is different but the finish is very similar so the danessa myricks this is the color fix what what shade is this in i can never remember latte um yeah i really like the shade it's it's deeper on my skin tone than i think it looks here but super long wearing you need like the smallest amount to apply to your face okay i have two from the rare beauty what are these called i can never remember this is the i guess just the liquid blushes um, this one is in Grace, and the other one I believe is in Joy, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Joy. So I really like these. I think these, again, are super long wearing. You only need a dot. I think these were a good formula. I think a lot of people really like these. So at first I had this shade, and I was like, ooh, that's really pigmented and really orange. Let me try some other shade. And then I got this one. I was like, ooh, that's really pink and really pigmented. So I do like these. I just think they're almost so pigmented sometimes. I have to really be careful to enjoy myself. Otherwise, I'm like, what have I done to my face? <laughs> but I really do like these. I would almost get a more muted shade um, of this Rare Beauty Liquid Blush because I really do like it. Okay, this is the M Cosmetics Stick Blush. I'm not sure. Yeah, So Soft Stick Blush in Venetian Rose. I really like the Venetian Rose shade from her line. I know that it's super popular, but I really like it. It works well for my skin tone. The staying power on this is great. This is creamy as can be. So creamy, it's amazing. It's just amazing. I don't, you know, for a first time beauty product line, from M Cosmetics, she did such a good job. This is this is an amazing blush. If you wanna try anything from M Cosmetics, I would say <clears throat> grab this or um, and the um, bronzer stick. Both tremendous, they're both great. Next is the Say Beauty. This is their Dewy Blush in Peachy. It's a shade that I would really like. I did mention in my last makeup collection video that I really like their like highlighter or under foundation illuminator, but I don't care for this. And I don't have a lot of stuff from Say Beauty. I have their concealer, this blush, and then the highlighter. I think that's the only things that I've ordered from Sephora from Say Beauty. But I don't really like this because it's it's sticky for me. Like I find it sticky. I think a lot of people do like this, and I know this is probably an unpopular opinion. But I, I don't like it if it remains sticky. Like it has to dry down for me. So I'm gonna continue to give this a shot because I really like the shade. But I also don't think it packs as much of a punch as I would like either in terms of 
like when I start to blend it out, I think it kind of goes away more than I would like. So I apply it again and again, and I don't want to do that. That's not my favorite way for application, but I'm going to continue giving this a shot. Maybe I apply a little bit more and then set it with powder and then it works for me. But I, on first impressions, I'm not in love with it. All right, this is the LYS. This is the Higher Standard uh, Satin Matte Cream Blush in Self Love. I like this color. I do really like this blush. I would say that it's not as long wearing as some of my other cream products, but I do like it. Um, I do like LYS in general, but I, I like the texture of it. I don't, I don't know. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's just the color that I absolutely love. Not super long wearing, but I, but I like it. It's a good blush. Okay, then Natasha Denona. I don't know why. I really, really don't know why I hold on to this. This is the oh pink coral and pink and golden champagne. So those are the shades because this is a duo. So it's the cream blush. This looks orange here, but to me, this is a super pink, pink like blush. And this is almost too dark for me. Like, look at that. I will wear it if I'm like, if I'm careful on applying it or that I almost use it as like a topper to a blush, but it is meant to be a highlighter. And so I don't know who would really wear this shade, but wear this and it's not really picking up on camera because it looks more coral, but it is super pink. And honestly, at this point, I think it's nearly like, it's not dried out. Yeah, it's a very pink shade when you put it on. Like upon application, it turns super pink on your face as opposed to like coral, which it's called pink coral, but it comes out more pink than coral. And so I don't know who this would suit and who this would suit at the same time. So even though I like Natasha Denona, I think this was probably the first product of hers that I purchased <clears throat> because I wanted to try out the blushes, but I've barely even used this. Okay, lastly, this is a strange one. Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Palette. This is from Seraphine Botanicals. I love it. I don't like, I didn't think I would love it, but I really do. So this came in a boxy charm. These shades wind up looking super pretty on me. They're super, super long wearing. Uh, I don't know where you would purchase this at all. This is, I don't know what shade this is in. I have no idea. Um, but the, the longevity of these is amazing. So it's one of those things where I would never, ever have gravitated towards this brand if it were that I was just trying to purchase it on my own. But because it came in a boxy charm and I tried it just to try it, I love it. I love it so good. Okay, okay. so that is the end of my plush collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please let me know if I absolutely talk too much. I would love to get your feedback. So far, I've had no comments on any of my videos, so I would love to see if you guys think I should do a shortened version in my um, filming coming up on the rest of my collection and maybe talk a little bit less. Um, or if you love it just the way it is, please like it, comment. Um, I hope you subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you again in my next video.